the flu is making a resurgence. News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman joining us live from the health department tonight with this unusual spike this late in the season. Alyssa? Well, and that's the key right there. This late in the season, when all of the cases should be on the downward trend, influenza B has spiked, and it seems to be still on the rise. Here at West Boca Medical Center, pediatrician Dr. Alice Blavo is always busy. But rarely is she having to treat flu symptoms so late in the season. It's a very extended time and it probably can go on until May. But this year... Mostly we've been getting like influenza B. That's the case for her and many other doctors out there. People need to be aware it's it's been a severe flu season and it's just it's really not over yet. According to the health department while the overall number of flu cases have gone down there has been a recent spike in the influenza B. Well if you take a look at this chart from the health department you can see that influenza A was the dominant strain out there this year but then Focus here on the blue line. This is influenza B. Experts say it's not unusual for it to spike a little bit later in the season, but what is unusual is for it to spike this late in the season, and it has yet to top off. Usually by, by mid-March, we're pretty much done. Everything continues week after week to go down, down, down until you get to May 1st. And unfortunately, we're not seeing that yet. You know, we're at mid-April and we're not seeing a downturn, so it's going to go on for a little bit of time. And the health department says the flu shot is always worth it. And in fact, it could help provide immunity for next flu season. But you have to remember that it could take about 10 days to provide protection. 